Hello. Let's see what trouble we get into today. First they can't even connect a few fucking cables, and now they don't even answer. Shh. It's the new guy. He's waiting for some bigwig to show up. He's planning to do some psycho presentation. And who is the big way? That's what I want to find out. Mr. W, we still have no contact with the Funhouse. I'm on the phone. <laughs> We're ready. I understand, but please tell him that this is not a meeting that can be postponed. I see. So, they ain't coming, right? Fucking suits! Keep your anger to yourself, or I'll share mine with you. Robo? Who's there? Show yourself! You'd better not. As you wish, creep. You are under arrest. Come quietly. Do you really believe that's what's gonna happen? Take care of him, boys. I'll meet you on the roof. What's up, metal freak? Forget where you left your car? You better go, Miss Ortiz. It seems there will be trouble. Alex? 
us? Is that you? Come to us. Yeah, Dad, we're waiting for you! Dad? Dad? Are you Are coming? You coming? Special offers at Juneberry Mall. Now a free gift for engaged couples. Goldfinch Jewelry has a discount on wedding rings. Choose something special. It's a symbol of your love and something for her to remember you by after you decided to get yourself killed and leave your family all alone, Alex Murphy. Don't hesitate. Come and take advantage of our offer. Is that, Is that you? You... You, you look, look different. different. You're, You're scaring, scaring me. me. I, I don't, I don't like, like how scary, scary you are now. now. It's, it's not, not your, your dad, dad, kid. kid. It's, it's not, not even a police, police officer. officer. I don't, I don't know, know what, what it is anymore. anymore. The remains of my husband, a police officer killed in the line of duty, were used to create some kind of a metal monster. I need to bury it to move forward with my life. Do you have a funeral suit that would fit that empty shell? Okay. 
It thinks itself as human. A world-class husband. A father. A cop. Did you hear? It's true. You're not one of us anymore. You're not human. And you're not a real cop. You're just the rotting remains of Alex Murphy. You're something that should never have been. Something that should not exist. We have to fix you. We have to erase you. And we, and we will. will. Just, Just come, come to us. us. Come, come to the, to the rooftop. rooftop. We are waiting. It's the craft that is stuck to our shoe. A cuckoo egg planted by OCP. We need to clear our station of this shit. We must smash that thing. Fire at will. You're not one of us. You feel that too, don't you? You're back. There's coffee in the kitchen. Do you like it? The mug. Dad? Can you fix the camera? I think, I think something's, something's broken. broken. Hey, you fixed it! Remember I'm playing a game this afternoon? Dad wouldn't miss it, would he? Pick me up at the station, I'll grab my gear. Do you really have to go? You look so sexy in that uniform. Why won't you stay a little longer? Why are you here? Do you not love your family? No attachment. No leverage. This is a gift. Don't take him away from me! Everyone, Everyone wants, wants to be back, back home, home with their, their families. families. Be, be back, back home. home. Welcome, Chopper. Let's, Let's take, take a stroll a through your old home. Do, Do you think you can just go back? Go on with your life like nothing happened. This is a one family built by ZM Industries. It's for sale because the head of the family to which it belonged was shot in the head. Your family has forgotten. Why do you want to remember that? 
you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Have you thought it over? Why not make me an offer? Why carry this burden? What is your sacrifice worth? Holding on to them makes you weak. Destroy them. Destroy them before they destroy you. Murphy, the one and the only. I'm here because you have something that belongs to me. You have my badge. Lewis gave it to me. Lewis is hurt because of you. Because you keep insisting that you're something that you're not. You think that you're a machine that's simply using my brain, but that's not true. I'm dead, and I want to finally rest, but you won't let me. Your delusions keep tormenting me and my family. You need to let us go. I want my badge back. I have it. So I remember. Remember what? The lie? Lewis knows us. She would not lie. Give it to me. It's mine. But, Lewis, I want it back. This is my badge. Then I'll have to take it back myself. You are, you are strong, strong enough, enough to take, take him. him. Don't, Don't forget, forget you have, have a partner, partner who's counting, counting on you. you. Take, Take this, this gift. gift. Don't, Don't forget, forget who you are. are. Alex, Alex Murphy. Murphy! Get up, Robo. Get up, for God's sake. That's it, Robo. Keep going. Where's the chopper? The cops will be here any- Wendell Antonowski. Haven't you had enough yet? You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Relax. <laughs> I I'm not your enemy. If I were, you would have already... You have the right to an attorney. I... I wanted to help you. Release you from the burden of your past life, of your memories. Them, right now I get it anything you say may be used against you I can give you back those memories all of them we should help each other we have the same boss police god damn it you again people need to see this uh. cuff him he is a cop killer Hands behind your back! Can you hand me my lighter? It's a family heirloom. I wouldn't want to lose it. You mean this trinket? It'll be safer in the prison depository. You'll pick it up yourself in... I don't know, 150 years? Plenty of time for rehabilitation. Top story. Wendell Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town, has been apprehended today. Robocop was able to capture Antonowski, as reported by an eyewitness, Channel 9 Samantha Ortiz. Unfortunately, no footage of the event has emerged. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding his status as a human being. Here's a statement from John Mills, a candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Today, Robocop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant Robocop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products suffered a heart attack earlier today. The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. His condition is stable. We wish you a speedy recovery. Wendell's in prison and the old man is on his way out? Could this day be any better? 
Jeez, Steph, don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo. You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. Just want to change the costume on that. Top story. Wendell's in prison and the old man. Jeez, here can go. We are Murphy. I knew he'd get him. I just knew he'd be the one to bust that asshole. Glad we have Murphy on our team. Is that the TV personality I keep seeing on television? 
Have a seat, Robo. Hello, great streamer. I'm Nardshot09761 of the big streamer. On this Twitch, I noticed something on your channel that make you don't have mo. Thanks for the offer, but I just have a little channel. I just do it for fun. I'm not interested in, you know, getting lots of streams and being rich and famous and none of that. I just like playing the games. Thanks anyway. Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? It is no one else's business. Understandable. But the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? I do not need other people's approval to determine who I am. No. But no man is an island. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue. But no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might not be aware of that, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? My partner is important. I needed to do right by her. I know how close she is to you. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation, similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Corrupted visions of my past. I think we're onto something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you.
I don't know. If it happens, I'm definitely getting sacked. I've got a degree in robotics, not in human relations. Sometimes I'm surprised you got a high school diploma. I'd recognize those footsteps anywhere. Over here, Tin Man! What did you do this time? Uh, why does it have to be that I did something? Maybe one of your guys just got a little over eager. Luckily, you can turn the, the sound of no. his footsteps but down. None of this matters. That would get annoying. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We... We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the... They lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting suspicious activity for someone at OCB. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. Talk to you later. Partner. Seriously? I didn't think he had one. You have one hand, rookie? Actually, I do. Still not used to working with one hand. You'll eventually rookie, forget about being shot office. the first time. <laughs> yeah? When? When you get shot the second time. What? Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's faces, but we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Windows payroll? All signs point to him. They do, don't they? And that leads me to another thing. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about it? Can you trust him?
Despite shortcomings, he is trying his best. That makes me a little less anxious about signing him up to look after you. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington. And let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... Is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? This process takes time. Like most things that are worthwhile. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. Officer Washington! Yes, sir. You've got a new assignment. Ready and willing. Did you watch the game yesterday? I don't know what's wrong with our team. We're losers. I wanted to throw the TV out the window, but it was too heavy. I pulled a hamstring because of them. Why are you asking me about my liver and kidneys? They shot me in the leg. We can She's waiting for you, Murphy. And additional benefits if you decide to travel. Come on, give me the skinny. I want to know everything. Ah, oh, Murphy, we started the party a little early. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, partner. It's my fault. I just got to hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on! This is time to celebrate! Lewis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail, let's party! If you don't think a strike is brewing... You know what? Let me get this grouch out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Lewis. You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often. And with greater intensity. I don't think I've ever seen you in such a state. I just know how it affects me. So I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who... shot you. We should not let the past haunt us. Easier said than done. His presence reminds me of the day that I... that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. You did not pull the trigger. The people responsible have paid for it. I know. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now? After all this time? And why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. Damn, Becker. We should just lock him up already. I would like that. Maybe there's someone who'd be willing to help us? I don't know if you heard, 
but the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk, but it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway, I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it. can last a minute longer in this stench. Hey, where do you think you're going? To talk to the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. to improve people's lives. I was good to them. Just like you told me, Mother. We did not... Michael, is that you? Your halo shines so bright. Someone in OCP was supporting Wendell's operations. I want to know who. Robocop? Oh God, I'm getting close to my final days. And I just can't stand this uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? The pain was, is crushing, but every officer is aware of the risk. That is not what I wanted to hear. I believe that death isn't the end. You are walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. All saboteurs inside OCP won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I know you would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. <sighs> Before you go, could you be so kind and give me some painkillers? I am not qualified to administer medication. Please, anyone help me? God, I need my painkillers. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it, old man. Why the long face, Robo? They'll pump him full of OCP's cocktails and be back to signing deals if nothing happened. I don't allow you to treat me like this. I am the mayor of this city. Robocop, you have to intervene. Is there a problem? This man is preventing me from exposing OCP's hypocrisy. The way this hospital treats its patients is the best depiction of what OCP wants to do with this city. A brave policewoman shot in the line of duty is crammed into a small room while the old man has a cozy VIP wing of the hospital all to himself. This is what Delta City stands for, even bigger division. But the time you had your tonsils removed, you were staying in the VIP wing, too. We're not talking about me. We need to talk about the people. Robocop, please stop this madness. Make a statement. That policewoman is your partner, isn't she? 
So tell us, doesn't she deserve better? Lewis should be treated under better conditions. Hey, cameraman, you got that? Even an OCP robot sees the hypocrisy. Listen to him. Don't let OCP take away our city. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Okay, guys, we're leaving. We should find him a cozy, secluded, preferably padded room. Seek answers. You came. So you can follow a command. Surprising. Surrender, or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop. Meet the future of law enforcement. Power like yours, but at the push of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself. What's the status? This is no appreciation party. Gunshots? What's going on? Becker has introduced me to a new robot. UEDs? They're already functional? Mr. Becker bragged about them during my onboarding. I'll try to find something that can help. Just give me a sec. in front of the OCP board. I'm looking at the footage now. Let us see if they ever... ever got around to fixing it. Warm-up is over. Get ready for the real strike. I knew the guy that made you. Bob Morton, right? An arrogant brown nose. I used to be happy that he was dead. One less oh, asshole on my way to the chairman seat, you know?
got some more on the UED project. The old man didn't like it much and wanted to shut it down. He was certain that your brain was what was making you superior to them, so Becker continued to work on the project in secret. He took a big gamble. Hey, who are you talking to? Is that Oedipus guy helping you? <sighs> well, once I'm done with you, his career is over. Our Durham won't give you that. He could become a strong part of my urban enforcement. Your redundant parts have too much impact on the game. Surrender. Becker knows you are helping me. He gave me access to the OCP data himself. Under these circumstances, I feel obliged to use them any way I see fit. Until now, I didn't want to damage you too much, but no more.
continue the fight. What the hell just happened? Becker! Oh, just stop right there. Great performance, RoboCop. And Mr. Becker. It was an excellent presentation. You promised to show me a reliable remedy for this crime wave. And you really did. Yes. I've been working on UEDs for the past five I'm years. I meant RoboCop. He's proved once again that he's still the top player. Excuse me? It just barged in here and started accusing me of conspiracy without a shred of proof. It is not stable. I have Wendell's confession. Oh, do you mean the guy that's been harvesting human organs? <laughs> Very reliable source. You keep forgetting that your organic components are the bane of my entire existence. They complicate things. I need a simple tool. A tool that I can control. And until this remote is in my hands, I have that... Oh! Well, it's uh, time for me to go. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for your presentation. I'll be watching the progress of your project. But until then, keep up the excellent work, RoboCop. And you better keep an eye on that remote. That should do it. What's going on over there? Becker's here, and the cops are not happy. Becker tested an army of robots on Robocop. Can you believe that? That is so unethical to conduct an experiment without our supervision. Right.
Becker's here. Let me get my hands on him. It's a new age, and you have to accept it. My robots are here to stay. Detroit will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. No brains, no glitching, total control. So that's it? You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced, honey. Can't you see it? What are you talking about? Murphy's one of us. You're a little confused. That's Robocop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops. Cops do not go on strike. That's the spirit, old timer. I have important people to meet, multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Well, that sucks. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your cruiser needs cleaning after your last shift. If you have a hard time finding something to do, come to me. That goes for the rest of you, too. Murphy, briefing room, now! First of all, I don't want to hear a word about those damn robots. We have a job to do. Now that the milk is spilled, we are looking for a mole in OCP that's been protecting Antonowski. As hard as it is to believe, Becker is not that guy. Yeah, but he's still a prick. Sure is, but there's still a mole that we need to find. It's gotta be the rookie. I'm sitting right here. So? We start by asking the source. What are you suggesting? I pay Wendell a visit in jail. Good thinking. You can try to squeeze a confession out of him. If I get my hands on him, I will squeeze more than just a confession. Hey, Murphy. No. That news lady's in the lobby waiting to talk to you. Robo, do you have a minute? Listen, I wanted to say that I misjudged you. My crusade is against OCP. You were just collateral. So to extend an olive branch, I'd, I'd like to give you this. What is it? It's the tape of you glitching the other day at the mall. It's the only copy, so you can do whatever you want with it. I am sure your TV station would love to play the tape. Yeah, that's why you need to take it before I change my mind. Thank you. Now that I have you here, can I interview you as a consolation prize? They want me to ask you about the election. Seems that people value your opinion. I would be happy to oblige. Okay, roll the tape. I'm here at Metro West conducting an interview with a man that needs no introduction. Robocop, one of the more contentious points brought up during the election is the construction of Delta City. Many believe that Delta City will destroy old Detroit. Mayor Kuzak spoke at length about the illegal evictions that OCP has been planning in order to start the construction. Other candidates, namely John Mills, believe that Delta City is a chance to clean up the city. What are your thoughts on this subject? Is Delta City the future of old Detroit? Delta City will be Detroit's downfall. So you agree with Mayor Kuzak that Delta City will bring more harm to the city? Thank you for clarifying your stance on this important topic. This has been Robocop for Channel 9. Samantha Ortez, signing off. Thanks for the interview, Robo. We'll get out of your hair as soon as we're done packing up the equipment.
I saw Becker tear the rookie a new one for what he did at that factory. I'm surprised he was already worn down. Hey, sh oh, she is doing real good. She had that fire in her eyes. You know what I'm talking about. I'm really glad to hear that. Right, going to have to leave it there for now, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.